It never did say a rich man couldn't make it. And a lot of them think that ignorance, you know, that if you get a little trained, that you can't be a Christian. And I read, you know, a, a lot of things there too talks about the happy man, blessed are, are the peacemakers, and blessed are the pure and hard, and on and on. You know it. But I never saw it say, blessed are the poor. And the ignorant never did see that. There's no blessing and no happiness because you are poor. So this is not an argument to get half and the things of the world, but it's simply saying that when you are cheap, you ought to be able to use them. You ought to be able to use them for God's kingdom in earth. Then there was another kind of a bloody issue that we suffer in our world today. Somebody would ask a question today that we say our nation, our world is sick, and somebody would raise the question now, could this be because we had learned enough? Somebody would have to try and write around and quick glance and know that couldn't be it. Because today we know more than we've ever known in any period of human history. We mastered the arts and the sciences. Sciences. Men have become more creative than we've ever known. You pick up the paper now and we're talking about men who are almost on the moon. now that I want in a matter of a few hours on our supersonic jets almost. Without knowledge I can take a seat in my living room and I can talk to anybody in Russia on the telephone and if, if the satellite is gone right around the world I can turn on the television and look at it while I'm talking. We know a lot today, but with all that we know today, we are yet so sick that we are not able to live in peace and holiness. We are not able to live in brotherhood. Until we are able to take our knowledge, until we are able to take our intellectual achievements and touch we will never, we will never be made whole. And then, finally, there's another bloody issue. We have the bloody issue in our church, in our religious order. Do you know a whole lot of our churches are sick? Yeah. A whole lot of the churches today are sick. And all we're concerned about is how beautiful can our choir sing? How elegant can our minister preach? How well can we look when we go to church on Sunday morning? There's some folk here right now. They're here this morning to, you've heard me say this so many times, Ebenezer, there's some people here this morning who are so concerned about how they look until they're, until they're not concerned about where the Spirit of Christ Jesus is dwelling in this world. Sickness. There is yet to be 
kind of kind kind of bloody issues. Well, I like the way Paul had to talk about this, and he was really talking to church folk. He was talking to the church down at the rent. And he, he really, his first reference, I think, it went to the ministers. He said, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels. In other words, he was saying, though I become so eloquent that I can captivate an audience so that they will look up to me and almost feel that heaven itself is open its mouth. Said, so, though I may be so brilliant that I have the great gift of prophecy, so that I can look at the future and solve and understand all mystery. So I have become a member who gives a tip, so I give all that I possess to the poor. You see, some of us have the idea that if we come to church and give a part of our gifts and a part of our wealth to the church, that we have become aware of the Paul says, so I need to do all of this. But if I
Bring the downstairs anywhere. And the buildings come on. The opportunity is yours. It's just a splendid 